Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com. This is my website you're looking at. Um, I'm making this video as an introduction to my new course um, called uh, Creative Harmonic Trading, or Harmonic Patterns, where I will be uh, teaching you how to trade harmonic patterns creatively. Uh, what I mean by creatively is that um, the conventional way is usually once once the um, the pattern is finished. Uh, let's go take a look at the pattern. I show you. Let's say for this, for example, this one. This is oops. This is a Gertle, bearish Gertle pattern. Okay. The, oh, by the way, all the diagrams you're going to be seeing is made by made by me myself, and uh, all the pro, you know calculation and everything. So this is a bearish Gertle. It has a specific calculation, right? And if you don't know what the, the pattern is, that this is how it is. The move starts from here, let's say X to A, so it's main move. Then you have usually uh, two pullbacks. First at point B, then it corrects itself, and then again goes up for point D, and then drops. Okay, so um, this is called a bearish Gertle. It has a specific calculation where uh, the point B is how much the, the pullback uh, the point B need to be how much the point D and, and you know, all of that and uh, to measure these uh, calculation we have a specific tool in MT4 which we call uh, Fibonacci retracement and Fibonacci expansion uh, but we also use a Fibonacci uh, projection so uh, three different ways we measure uh, each move uh, to come up with uh, to see if this there's a pattern uh, in the making or it's been made. Uh, okay, w when I say creative uh, harmonic trading is this that the conventional way is once the pattern is finished at point D, you trade the reaction of it. Uh, the way I trade it is a little bit different. Uh, as I what I do is let me show you basically I'm gonna uh, okay let's say this one for example this is a bearish crab pattern. So the, the crab pattern will be finished here at D, but I start trading from point C. Uh, this takes a little bit of learning, and this is why I'm making this course to teach that. Uh, so to understand where the point C is going to be or finish and then makes a turn. And then uh, the beauty of this is that if you notice the from point C to D is a lot of distance, right? And uh, wasting all of that, all of those pips is just not good <laughs> so you know and just wait 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 uh, to see if you know we get there at D and then you trade the reaction and sometimes you don't even get a reaction and just keep going up you know so it's, it's too much waiting and too much uh, too many pips wasted so what I do is I start trading from C and this is how my take is that trade number one by point C trade number two by the break of point B right here because I have a long distance and then uh, once you get there, uh, close your trades and see if you start dropping and sell the completion uh, of a crab pattern at point D. So you have a lot of people. So let's say if you find one of these things, if you can locate one of these things on a four-hour chart or daily chart, believe me that one pair and one pattern is good for the whole week. Okay, it will give you on a daily chart something like that will give you more than 200, 300 pips. Uh, not now in not August, but <laughs> usually June, July, August are the slowest month. But the you know volume is going to be picking up soon, and the next month will be you know hopefully it's going to be much 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 better. Um, <clears throat> so and this is how the creative uh, harmonic trading is. So this is uh, what what I'm going to teach, and this video course you will have separate uh, video for each uh, pattern. Now. I also teach you uh, the location of these patterns is very important, okay? So, for example, this one. And also you need to know that, uh, in, you know, in a different perspective, uh, like in a perspective of uh, uh, Elliott Wave, okay? The, these patterns are nothing but, harmonic patterns are nothing but Elliott Waves, okay? For example, the price dropping here at the support and then it starts going up, wave one, wave two, makes a bat or a Gertle pattern usually. Bullish bat or Gertle that will take off for wave three. Then you will have wave four and then price start going for wave five. In between three, four, five, you will see a bearish 
butterfly pattern, which usually, you know, butterfly pattern uh, have two calculation, either uh, 127 or 1.618. Okay. So don't worry, I'm just, uh, you know, telling you very fast, but you will learn in the course uh, every single thing. So once you see these, uh, this kind of pattern, then you know, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Beside that, if you know a little bit of Elliott wave, like I'm showing you here, okay, and this one, I will make a couple of videos. Uh, there are uh, a couple of videos in the course which will teach you how to pinpoint uh, very easily. I mean, you know, a lot of people say you know Elliott wave is very complicated, this and that. But once you see a pattern, or maybe you see, okay, yeah, it could be a pattern, but need to know if this pattern is in this location, it's a no-no. You're not supposed to take that. Uh, a bullish pattern at the top of the move uh, or at resistance is going to go against you. Okay, so it's very important to learn how to uh, pinpoint the, the pattern and to be able to locate the location exactly where you want that pair to be. A bullish pattern need to be at the support of the down of the you know at the end of the down move, and a bearish pattern need to be at the end of the up move. Um, and also, like I said, a little bit of Elliott wave. Uh, let me show you a little bit a different, same thing, but a different perspective here. You see this? This is what the Elliott wave is uh, all about. So wave one, two, three, four, five makes a whole big higher degree wave one, and then ABC correction makes a wave two. But all of those uh, small waves, one, two, three, four, five, also have little sub waves. In them. And you can uh, notice that you have a lot of uh, head and shoulders, like this one, shoulder, head, shoulder, then you have inverted, shoulder, head, shoulder, then again, shoulder, head, shoulder, then again, inverted, shoulder, head, shoulder. So they are all over the place. But it is very important to know if you take this one short, it's going to go against you. So what you need to do is uh, on way, at the end of wave one and two, if you have an inverted, if you see an inverted head and shoulder, that you take to the upside. Okay, similar here. But here you can see a short, a regular head and shoulder for the wave A. You will have a, quite a few pips and then especially here at the end of wave B, you will have a good move to the downside. So this is also, uh, I, I have a, a video showing you, explaining you how, you know, a little bit of basic Elliott wave, enough to uh, recognize these patterns and their location. So once you learn all of these things, uh, you will be pretty good master of it. So let me show you a couple of examples um, on my website. They're all over the place. Um, that, for example, Yen Index, I was looking at that, and it's a very nice uh, bad pattern there I'm going to show you. Um, um, this one, uh, well, this one, a uh, crab pattern. Let's take a look at this one. This is one hour, right? So X, A, B, C, D and then it goes up, right? So this is a pattern. Once it is finished, you trade. And what happened after that? And this, these, are, these are the before charts that I send out to my subscribers uh, to, you know, for them to trade. Once I find something like that, I immediately make the chart and send out with instructions how to trade them, okay? Um, let's see if I can find you something else. There wasn't very nice. Um, the, oh, here. Yeah. Okay. So now look at this one. This is how what I'm talking about. So now this is a bullish bad pattern. So you need to go uh, to trade up, right? And at the end of wave, uh, the leg D once the pattern is finished. But I pinpoint the, the point C and you see that must stay below MR1 59.23 and I had instructions with that that all the yen pairs will be going down if that happened. So you keep in, you know, uh, keep an eye on this uh, index and then you look at the yen in pairs for going down and you look for short setups. Uh, this is the diagram and look what happened. So it straight came down here and then I had this up move showing to the upside and look how far up it goes back again. So this is what I'm talking about. If you have one of these uh, pattern identified in any of those pairs, good enough for the whole week. And uh, similarly, uh, coming down, the yen in, uh, pairs are supposed to go down and then you see here, so down you might trade 
and it goes down. All of those yen pairs are going to go down. So knowing the index and these patterns, that what, where the index is going to go, will give you several trades at the same time, several trade because all the yen pairs will be affected if yen is on the move. That is I'm going to teach you in this course. Um, also, see this, um, uh, how to find these, uh, let's go back on that. Uh, let me show you a couple of more, um, let's say for example, uh, Euro Aussie. A couple of more um, uh, examples, then I'll take you to uh, show you how to um, use my strategy. Okay, look, this one, a Euro Aussie four hour chart, right? Uh, and it was, uh, what kind of pattern was that? I didn't write it down here, but it was a pattern. It was a, a bad pattern, bullish bad pattern. Okay, all of this calculation perfectly fine. And it's supposed to go up, and it was at the end of the finishing point, point D. And look what happened, right? All these my trades simple um, and this is those are the take, uh, trades taken on a 15 minute chart or a five minute chart this is uh, my forex magic wave strategy by the way and the strategy template okay this is the chart and this is how the chart look like and we have a specific rules uh, in the bottom you have the cal uh, indicators so once the indicator in line and this all of these uh, you know the whole setup if the whole you have the whole setup uh, you take the trade, open the trade. Very, very safe. You play very safe. For example, if I said that, okay, this is uh, the pattern is finished and it's, the price is going to bounce from here and go up maybe 100 or 200 pips, then immediately you turn into a five-minute chart and start looking for a bullish setup. Okay, so, and once you have it, you take it. What the setup look like? Setup look like is this. On a five-minute chart, you can see, like, see this. Uh, five minute um, bearish. Uh, I didn't update it, by the way. July it was too busy. But these are the uh, you know the setup look like on my uh, magic wave uh, strategy, which I sell by the way uh, for fifty dollars separately. Right here you can see, okay, all of that, um, which you're gonna get free with the course. Okay, I'll give you the setup. Uh, I mean uh, the PDF, the indicators, and the template that where you you will have all of this exactly the same way and uh, all the, the indicators in the bottom I'll also give you that so once all of these uh, are aligned you can take entries like this see a lot of people right and like this same uh, setup you'll see it it's like a fishing hook right move it goes inside the wave and comes out like these three lines hmm? right here right here You'll find them everywhere, every pair and everywhere. Okay, look at that, how far it goes. Look at that. Okay, so this, uh, uh, you're going to get this uh, magic wave strategy as well. So basically the course is going to teach you all those harmonic patterns and their calculation and how to fix the tool. Let's say uh, on my live chart, I can show you all of these numbers here. So my, my tool have all of these numbers. I'm going to teach you uh, how and where you get all these numbers and how you add the numbers on your uh, Fibonacci tool and how to measure those patterns. Uh, the other tool is this. This is a Fibonacci expansion. Uh, you use three different techniques, the retracement, expansion, and projection to measure these patterns. All right. So this is it for now. Um, uh, like I said, if you um, take this course, you're going to learn how to measure uh, th these uh, patterns, uh, uh, harmonic patterns, like bird, uh, uh, butterfly, girdle, bat, crab, AB is equal to CD. Uh, these are the major ones. And I also teach you, uh, uh, there's a video about uh, uh, candlestick formation. Um, I only use three or four. Uh, you have uh, too many out there, maybe 300. <laughs> <laughs> but if you use all of those, uh, every candle uh, will give you a trade setup. Uh, that's nonsense. Okay. Uh, you only take very few and um, specific, on a specific location, then you have a meaning. Uh, for example, morning star, if it's in the middle of the move, it has no meaning at all. Uh, you, you're supposed to ignore that. Okay. And on a specific location, morning star, evening star, shooting star, 
you know, engulfing uh, some of those. I'll, uh, you know, there there is a video uh, for that, and uh, a little bit of Elliott wave. Like I said, that it is very important to see how and where they are building. Um, harmonic patterns are nothing but Elliott wave in a different perspective. That's all. Like wave one and two, bullish wave one and two will be making a bat or a girdle. Okay, and then at the end, butterfly usually is an end of the move. Okay, and uh, it's ending butterfly as well. On the downside or upside, it's a turning point. Um, and um, uh, similarly, um, you will see a bearish uh, girdle or a bad pattern at uh, the beginning of a downfall when the price is all the way up and then the start is turning uh, to the downside and you have the correction fixed, you know, I mean, uh, let's say finish A, A, wave A and B is finished. Wave A and B makes up A. Um, like this one. A, B, this is a bad or uh, girdle, bearish, girdle or bad. Will give you a down move. And similarly, head and shoulder, very, very important to know where and which one you should take, which one you should bypass. Location wise. Okay, so this all of these things you're gonna learn. You're gonna get um, my magic wave uh, strategy uh, entry strategy. And uh, for example, I'm gonna give you a, a small example for that. I think I already uh, gave you. Uh, once I send out the chart or pattern, if you locate um, or uh, if you ever subscribe, then what happens is that I'll send you a chart that okay, the price is gonna go to this resistance and then start dropping. Okay. So, for example, if this is the resistance here, you draw a line and just watch it. So, price is going to just going up here and then here and then and all of a sudden price comes down below the wave and give you a setup like that. And all of these indicators in the bottom are also aligned, giving you a green light and you take it. We do not take it uh, blindly. We do not make entry blindly. Yes, of course, from here to here, you may miss maybe 20, 30 pips, but it's better to miss rather than lose, right? Uh, missing is fine, but our setup, it calls for a very small stop loss, 20 people stop loss. Uh, and uh, the, you know, the reward is pretty, pretty big. In, in the good days, right now in August, you have let's, uh, Aussie, I just uh, I checked Aussie USD range for the whole day, it's 44 pip, pathetic, right? So you can't make no, no money, but the, you know, things will turn around uh, uh, in, from September and on. Uh, we will get busy. The range is going to be more, uh, much better and better. Uh, usually, when you have a good volatility, the euro USD pound USD move around like 150 pip each every day, and euro yen pound yen some somewhere like 150 200 pip daily. And you have a lot of uh, pips to make using this, you know, magic wave strategy and uh, knowing those patterns and a little bit of Elliott wave support resistance. I'll teach you basically. Uh, the name of this course is Harmonic Patterns, but you will learn almost everything. It's going to be like a total package. Okay, but mainly I will be concentrating on um, these patterns, and you will have each uh, uh, video separate for each pattern, explaining almost everything, how to locate them, about the location, how to measure them, and how to fix your Fibonacci tool. Okay, so this is it for now. I hope. Um, let me see if I can, uh, I don't remember where it is. Um, is there, okay, like this one, I was expecting that it might go up for fourth wave here, but you see it went up a little bit here, then it starts dropping. And it is making a, uh, a small butterfly right now. So see, the thing is that if you, if you have a, a pattern like that, and uh, you see that if, okay, it is going up, then you make an entry somewhere here eight, in eighteen twenty pip. You come and sit on a break even, hoping that it go up. But if it doesn't, it comes back and hits you. That's fine. You know, knock you out. Your, you know your SL on break even. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so my magic wave strategy has saved you a lot. Uh, with <laughs> uh, we make precise entries and um, let me see. And if you lose. Usually you get to break even, usually. <sighs> oh.
Okay. Let me see if I can go back on there. Um, USD pairs. Uh, okay, Euro pound. Let's say on a big chart I want to show you. You can have these harmonic patterns on even. Okay, I kind of miss it. Oh, this is Euro USD. I open up, I guess. It's not even Euro USD. It's just okay. Maybe here, Pound Aussie. These Euro, uh, Euro Aussie and Pound Aussie are monsters. They when they move, they move big time. Okay, for example, this one. See this here? Very nice uh, pattern here. Um, this is a good example of like a daily chart, big chart. So imagine from here to here, like several hundred pips. Okay, I don't remember if you went there all, all the way or not, but even a little bit, you see the my chart was here and then my, you know, this is where somewhere I made an entry and all of them. This is probably like 100, 150 pips. Yeah. And um, this is the entry using a 15 minute pound Aussie magic waves you see how easy it is if you look at this the point C immediately you go on a 5 minute chart or 15 minute chart and start looking for the uh, the entries I took the entry here but you, you have on a 5 minute chart I'm sure you, you have an entry here 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 you can see a lot of entries and then you just keep taking them you have several uh, um, chances once you know where this pattern is going okay this is all this this now the last thing that I need to uh, tell you is that um, at the time of uh, making the course uh, we were using this strategy which I just showed you uh, to make entry magic forex magic wave uh, strategy right and this is a perfect uh, setup in front of you this five minute chart setup entry right now um, after the course uh, I made another uh, uh, very great system okay which I call magic IB system and you can learn all about it on my website you can see uh, the charts uh, trades taken using that so uh, what will happen is that uh, once you buy the course now you will not only get this whole system first magic wave strategy but uh, you will also get magic IB system and all the uh, necessary things that needed for that uh, like EA and uh, layouts profiles and the indicators and all that so let me quickly show you how it looks like. This is the five minute chart, uh, pound yen. In the same setup, it looks like this on Magic IV system in MT4, right here, the same setup. See how nice it is? This indicator is all the way down, but look at the candles are very neat and clean, right? And the setup is beautiful. Now, the same thing is on other trading station, which is not MT4. Uh, you will also get that, uh, everything for that if you want to use that, because I'm using that one is this one let me show you real quick this is the same setup right here this is a uh, market scope 2.0 this is called trading station uh and it is very neat and clean you can see it right in front of you, right uh the price you know blue candles going up red candles coming down and the beautiful setup again this is why i call it ib because uh, at the turn it makes an, an inside bar see blue candles and all of a sudden you get an inside bar red candle then start red, 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 and all of a sudden you have an IB, a blue candle, right? Inside bar, and that's where you make an entry. Okay, this is pound yen, five minute chart, right? So this is, uh, so you're gonna get all of that, both. Okay, let me show you uh, how you take the trades uh, the last week, a uh, little few trades from the last week. This is how it is, okay? Uh, the price, let's say this is a C point, the turning point of our harmonic pattern. And then, or maybe at, at the finish, at D point, and then you have to go up. So you wait until it goes above the black line, give you a bullish setup like this, and take it here, 97 pip. Another dip, entry, 36 pip. Okay. And uh, similarly, this is coming down, 22 pip. And uh, this is, you can see here, this is, I'm showing you how to make an entry. As soon as I made an entry, I, I copy it, and you'll see your trade uh, later on. Uh, this is one of those uh, pound Aussie daily chart with 445 pip running right now from only from here to here 445 pip. Imagine all of these entries how much you would have made.
okay this is the entry and i just show you the entry this is what happened on for that on a uh, one hour chart you can see it is 46 pip this is the one this one okay this is five minute entry but i'm showing on a one hour chart because i want to show that all the other entries possible entries were this one this one this one this one going up and then i made this entry right 46 pip right here and uh, this one uh, after going up and then again coming down sell 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 okay this is my entry running 50 pip positive right here um, this one uh, pound of hourly chart going up entry is always from five minutes but i'm just showing you uh, uh, just to show the other entries here this was a beautiful po positive uh, possible entry this was a possible entry nice and clean and only from here to here you have 112 pips so imagine from here to here and here to here it's like probably 200 300 pips from here to here and uh, this is another one on a friday uh, coming down entry uh, short entry on your usg h1 70 pip running and then this is a 30 uh, pound uh, 30th july power nausea two orders 105 and 126 pip right positive going and uh, here you have pound aussie uh, i think it's five minute chart yes on 31st uh, several orders six orders all the 73 pip 77 71 72 73 73 total 440 pip uh, 420 pips if you consider all these separate trades if not the same thing the 70 pip this is how you increase your uh, profitability if you are sure uh, that yeah this is what it is because pound aussie has been going uh, i made a daily chart a monthly chart showing that at least 25 2500 to 3000 pip we will be going to the upside and that's why we are hitting uh, long 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 on pound aussie and big trades big trades coming in using this strategy so this is it for now uh you know come on board uh, by the th uh, this uh, uh, course uh, you will become master of the harmonic patterns and all you gotta do is just wait after the you know, when once you find out the point C or point D, you just wait for a turn. You make an entry uh, using these systems, and uh, you will doing uh, just just like I just showed you these trades. Okay, so I hope you see uh, see you in my webinars uh, because you will have uh, one month uh, monthly service free uh, once you buy the course, and you will be attending uh, my live live webinars as well as you will have the access to watch all my previous recordings of my previous webinars, which is hundreds of them. Uh, a lot to learn from those things. But uh, even f only from the course, you will learn a lot. Okay, so this is it for now. Uh, I hope to see you in my webinars and um, uh, learn and become master of Forex trading. Okay, so this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.